go ahead and go into the chat, ladies and gents. Give me three sevens. Seven, 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 seven is the number of completion. I do wanna throw this out really quickly. Um, Tsunami did an amazing, Oscar did an amazing job yesterday. I, I really love that gentleman. He um, almost single-handedly was the one who shifted Devin's mindset. Dev spent a lot of time with Oscar, a $50,000 a month earner. Oscar has a, such an interesting story and a, a really great team really great attitude. He came over here and pretty much kind of like single-handedly did what I did, which was build his organization um, from him down, you know, not spillover or anything like that. He just went to work. He came in in, in April and um, then I was able to meet Oscar and I just think he's, I think he's amazing. And he really wants this company to come together. And the great thing is, is that we are together. We have a great community. Um, but like Oscar was saying, our calls should be maxed out. What we're really trying to do and the owners are in ag agreement with it as well is really trying to make our, my nine o'clock call, a corporate call. There's no reason why the nine o'clock call, it's an opportunity call. Shouldn't be maxed out at a thousand plus people. Just the sheer numbers alone are going to show people how strong we are because guys right now we have, um, Thousands of people. I mean, I know in my organization alone, I have 20,000 active people in my organization, 20,000. I'm just one of Dominique's legs and there's a whole team above me. Um, and then Selena Jackson and the whole crew, she's at 50,000 a month. She's on Dominique's second leg. Um, and then on the third leg, we got Guy Sean and we have some other leaders over there. So we really are going to have to play team. And that's what Oscar, he's the one who called me and said, we really need to come together. We need to start maxing out these calls. There's absolutely no reason why there's not a thousand people on at two and nine with the number of people that we have. And honestly, guys, I think it's because people don't understand the difference between training and opportunity calls, right? And I was talking to one of my partners, Tony, yesterday, and I was like, we don't want to over train our team, right? I've already been in this game before. This is my fourth Forex network marketing company. You will kill your downline every single time if you overly train them because people still got to live. People are not going to sit in one place like myself or Miss Linda that's about to come on. Miss Linda will sit at her table in the same place all day. I do that too from the time I wake up in the morning until I literally pass out. I've not even slept in my bed in two months. I've, I sleep on the couch because I'm working and then I just fall out wherever I am. <laughs> and it's typically sitting in the same place. Most people are not going to do that. They want what you have, but they're not willing to do what you do to get it. Because a business, you got to get your business off the ground. And a lot of times people are in and out, in and out, taking breaks, and they don't understand the power of putting people on an opportunity call, and we have a lot of them, right? We have opportunity calls um, at two o'clock, four o'clock, two of them at seven, one of them at nine. Those calls should be um, maxed out. You know, if everybody is showing up, at least turning their cell phones on, and I actually put that challenge out there for everybody to do it, it's not happening though. <laughs> you know, I'm a coach, so I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Everybody is gung ho. And we got to, we have to be excited, but your excitement has to turn into some kind of action. It can't just be, I was super pumped up about Oscar's call. And then everybody goes back to doing the same thing that they were doing before. Right. So we got to step up. Step up means show up to the two o'clock and nine o'clock. Even if you can't be on there for real, for real, turn your phone on and just let your number pop up, right? Your team is gonna do what you do. If you don't show up, your team's not gonna show up. It's part of the reason why I show up every single day, not because I wanna motivate my team, I wanna inspire them because I, I rarely miss a day, right? So remember guys, it's wake up and work and then win Wednesday. You gotta wake up and you gotta go to work and then you'll win, it's not, wake up, I'm just going to automatically win. I'm going to automatically have a lot of people on my business. Doesn't work that way. Okay. 
You got to establish yourself as a leader. You got to make sure that your people start to see you as somebody who's consistent. People don't join companies, they join you. And if they're not joining you right now, then figure out what it is about the uh, traction or the vibration that's not bringing the people in at the moment. And don't beat yourself up about it, just uh, make some adjustments, right? Make some adjustments so people want to join you, okay? Um, so just wanted to kind of throw that out there. Remember guys, we are not looking to motivate people, we are looking for motivated people. <laughs> Let me say that again. We are not looking to motivate people. We're looking for motivated people. Change your vibration when you're talking to some of these people, when you're focused on getting them into your business. Look for people who, with the whip list, we'll talk about it later, work ethic, hungry for an opportunity, integrity, and they have personal power. Look for those types of people, right? Not for people you have to drag out off the ground. I don't even sign people up. If they give me the runaround too much, and they're like, I promise I want to sign up. I don't even want them in my business. They're going to get on my nerves. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even playing, guys. I pass off so many people like, hey, you can sign up this person because I don't even want to mess with them. I'm just going to be honest. Like, I don't even have the energy in my day to be messing with somebody who's not motivated. And if I got to motivate you to get you into the business, I'm going to have to motivate you to keep you in the business. It's not even worth my time, right? So I'll get into their network. I'll give them to somebody else. <laughs> get into their network, you know? So remember, we're in phase two. Uh, Reagan, Tuesdays and Thursdays, has the one-pager uh, Tradera presentation. Guys, I need you to understand how this works. Jump in and um, start doing your own hyper launches and use the two and nine as the official launch. So last thing I'm going to say before Miss Linda comes on, um, I'm focused on getting my people to hyper launch their own people. So let's say Linda is in the business and Linda signs somebody up. Linda should hyper launch her person immediately the next day. Linda should say, okay, um, Sean, Sean, I want you to call your top 10 to 15 people, put them on this call tomorrow. Linda should be the one to get on there and hyper launch and talk to those 10 to 15 people, read the one pager to them and get at least three people in the business immediately. And then Sean can do an official launch on the two or the nine, and he can officially launch all week with the rest of his list, but he's already got his three. We gotta go night in a night. You could go night in one night in one, 24 hours if you guys start using the hyper launch for real, right? Bring somebody in the business and you launch them, get their first three in, then I'll do the official launch at two and nine, okay? So really think about that if you really want your business to grow. So I'm gonna pass it over to our fierce leader, uh, Miss Linda Rogers-Brown, who needs no introduction, but I'm gonna tell you anyway, um, this lady is one of the best trainers in the, on the planet, <laughs> along with Tanny and some of the other leaders that we have brought aboard. I don't even know how she thinks of this stuff. <laughs> I'm just always excited to figure out what Tanny and Miss Linda are going to talk about on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So I'm going to pass it over to my fierce leader who's knocking on the door of really 10,000 a month, but got legs at 20,000 a month. So she's doing her thing over here. So Miss Linda, I'm going to pass it over to you. Well, thank you, Megan. I'm telling you, you spoke a thousand words in one minute that makes so much sense. And I I've always said that before, just log in, even if you're busy, because people, when they see a conference call or webinar and they see the numbers, and I remember when we first started with uh, Tradera, the numbers were so big, we were locking out. People were like, I can't get in. I, and they, next time they come on time or they get early, and we got to have that level of excitement again. And, you know, and I agree with you 100%, and I fall short on that sometimes because I'll be working with somebody, but I still should log in um, two o'clock and seven o'clock and nine o'clock and when we can. And I missed that midnight call last night because I was trying to figure out, okay, what am I going to share tomorrow? And I decided today to really focus on influencing, um, how to influence people, how to get people to, to do what you do. Now, I partnered with John Maxwell uh, years ago um, and became one of his founding partners, and I've learned so much on leadership. 
you know, I can remember his training on this and I'm, I'm basing this, I, I'm licensed to use all his books and training. So I said, well, let me take them to some real solid training and on how to become a person of influence. You know, we all can recall when our parents would tell you to stay away from certain people because they were bad influences or not to go to certain places in order to avoid potential problems. And the places we go, the things we do, and the people in our lives influence who we are, what we do, and the results we get. And you want to be a person of influence. You want to be to the point where, like Megan was talking about, and I agree with her 100%, when you mature in this industry, you want to start picking your partners. You, you want to start thinking, who do I want to partner with? You don't want to just sign everybody up because some people you're going to have to drag to success and they're going to weigh you down. And you So you want to become a good person of influence so that when you're um, meeting people and, and you build that relationship and, and little simple things, a very simple way to influence people is just to smile. You know, when you smile at people, they will smile back at the same time or saying hi to someone influences them to say hi to you. Or even if you beat the horn at somebody, you ever pass a truck as a kid and you use that thing to uh, show them to ring the bell or toot the horn and, and the truck driver sees the kid and he toots the horn. You can influence anybody. You could be an influencer. And, and that's what you want to learn how to be when you want to talk to people, not so much just about Tradera, because first you got to influence them through a relationship. You just want to you know, influencing them, influence them to the point where they see you and they want to do what you do or be a part of what you are. So, you know, today I just want to just talk about, you know, being that influence, being some, someone that people, people of quality, people of quantity, people that really want something in their life, something better, somebody that's going to work, you know, and somebody that's positive, you know, you could be a positive influencer, you could be a negative one, you know, so who do you influence? You know, at the John Maxwell team, um, we define leadership like this. Leadership is influence, nothing more, nothing less. Um, tradition will say leadership has to do with your position or the title you have. No, that is, on the contrary, is not. Um, for the most part, a majority of the people that I speak to don't believe that they are leaders. They don't believe that they're a leader, you know, um, because they don't have the title. They're not legend. They're not icon. They're not bishop. You know, on my team, I, I tell them, if you have recruited and signed up three people, you're a leader. At that point, you start focusing on being a leader. Just like, uh, you know, we have now the one pager. You know, just sitting with somebody going over that one pager, you're leading them, you're leading them to another level in their business. You're showing them how to get from where they are to how they can start getting to where they want to be in Tradera. So I want you to think about the person who's had the greatest influence on you in life, the person that made the greatest impact on you and helped you go further and helped you go faster in life. Who was that person? You know, most people will say it was my mom. Most people say it was my dad, you know? Um, a lot of people never say it was the president of the, of, the, of the company that I worked for or my supervisor or my manager. No, the people that influence you most in your life are the people that you live with or people that don't even know the influence in you. And you know, and you gotta be careful with that too. You have to make sure that you understand that you're influencing people too that you don't even know. Leadership is influence, nothing more and nothing less. That's by my favorite partner in the world, John Maxwell, him and Les Brown, they work together a lot and I got to work a lot together with them. And that's who pretty much made me who I am today in business besides the other people that I, I um, met along the way. So really understand that, you know, you can influence anybody to be a partner with you based off of what you do. But the first question you gotta ask yourself is would people follow me? And if that's not a resounding yes to that question, then we've got some serious work to do. You know, you want to make sure that you know in your heart of hearts, will people follow me? Will people do what I ask them to do? If I share with them uh, Tradera, will they follow me? And if they say no, ask them why. Say, you know, what is it? I've mentioned this before. What is the reason you don't want to partner with me? I mean, I know you had talked 
previously about needing some money or needing to do this or wanting to do that or wanting to go here and wanting to do, you know, go there. So what is it, you know, and, and maybe it could be you. Maybe they, if they know you very well. It's very, it's much easier to influence strangers than it is to influence people you know. I mean, if they've been around you all your life and you say, you know, join this opportunity, but they never see you really working it. They don't see you have a plan. They don't see you have a strategy. You, you're not really partnering with them and sitting down with them and saying, okay, let's bounce some ideas off each other. You know, if you're not doing that, you know, that could be a good reason why they're not joining your team or not wanting to do business with you. You know, you always got to look at you first. Is it something I'm doing? Am I falling short in my position in, 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 their, in the partnership that I'm trying to cultivate with them? Because if I ask you to be my partner, if I ask you to join me in Tradera and they know me, they're going to choose many reasons. Now, I tell you why some people don't choose to do what I do is because they don't want to do what I do. A lot of people don't want to work as hard as I work. Megan was so right. And I have a, someone here that can tell you that I sit at my table all night. <laughs> Some table I'm sitting at all night. Sometimes I don't even go to sleep. And I've always been that way. I, I'm, I, I just think better when the world is asleep. <laughs> it's peaceful, it's quiet, there's no phone ringing. And I can get a presentation done. I can do a website. I can do a lot of things. And, you know, I just do better in the middle of the night. And, and I'll be sitting, and if I do want to take a nod off, I might be sitting in my recliner and I might sleep there. And I, so many times I've slept on the couch. And so people that know me, my family know me, they're like, I'm not going to work that hard. But then you have to convince them that they don't have to work that hard, that everybody has, you know, I'm a type of person where I'm putting things together. And, you know, people have different callings, but everybody, when they look at you all their life, all your life of close friends, and they see what you do and what you don't do, can influence them whether they want to be a partner with you. But you have to come to the, together with them and let them know that they don't, everybody's different, but you're looking for their strength. You're looking for what they can do to become successful in what they want in Tradera. Okay. So, like I was saying, influence is really about position. And you have to understand that leadership and influence um, is about people. Is about people. Leadership is about people, not position. So I want you to, to remove from your mind that leadership is anything else. Because a lot of people will not get any further in a company because they think they have to be what Megan is, or they have to th they think they have to be what somebody else is. And I was telling you about the different colors of people. You have the red. The red are the ones like Megan, myself, a lot of Three percenters, one percenters, Dominique, and there's so many of you that's like it too. I just don't know everybody's name. And these are people who are like, show me the money. You know, you're telling them a joke or something, and they want you to hurry up and get to the punchline and then come back. You know, they want to see the end of the book. They read the back of the book before they start reading the first page of the story. You know, they want to see the end in mind so that they know is this valuable enough for me to be a part of, or Will I be able to be successful by helping other be, people be successful? Show me the money. Can my team make money? That's, that's red people. So if you're, you're trying to influence a red person to be a partner with you in Tradera, you have to make sure you let them know that they can make a million dollars a month. <laughs> and it's a simple way to do it. Three, get three, get three, get three. You tell them that, then you can go back and tell them about the company, where it came from, when it started. But red people want to know the punchline because the punchline is valuable to them because it's at the end and the punchline is the end in mind. So when, you, when you're talking to red people, <laughs> make sure you and trying to influence them to be a part of your, of your team. You know, I just signed up a very powerful friend of mine known for 19 years, but I had to let him know that he can make a million dollars a month. And he's been at the top of so many companies way above whatever I have ever accomplished. But in order to influence him to be my partner in Tradera, I had to know exactly what would make him say yes after six months planting seeds to get to that point but if you want to influence somebody that you know would work good because you know they're just a fun person and they have influence with people because of their personality they're bubbly and people want to be around them because they're always excited and you know they might not be the greatest network marketer in the world but they have that 
that you know that could bring joy to the team because you're you're building a team. You're not building you and another person. You're building a team, and when you all come together, you need all the colors in the room, every color of every person in the room. But when you're trying to influence a blue person who you know, you gotta let them know we're gonna be in Atlanta on the 20th and the 21st. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna we're gonna have training all day. And then we're gonna hang out in the evening, and we're gonna get together. We're gonna have dinner. We're gonna have. They want fun. So when you're trying to influence a blue person. Make sure you explain the part of Trader where they're going to be in Houston on the 6th, they're going to be in uh, Atlanta on the 20th, and the 21st, and then they, they're headed to New York. You know, the big apple. You got to excite them just like they excite you. When you're trying to influence people, know the people you're trying, you're working with. But then you have to fit, you have to fit in there with them and go to the level where they are in order for them to see the vision that you see. And when you're trying to influence somebody that's yellow, you know, they want to help, you know, you can be at the registration table, you know, and, um, you know, I've done that before, you know, I, I've sat there and I've, when people come to the, to the table, I started at the table, you know, and I saw all the people coming in to, to join the event and, you know, you could bring the cookies, you could bring the cake, you know, they could, they don't really care about the, the paycheck because they, most of them can't believe them making, they're going to make a million dollars because they don't work like that. They work more on the, the energy of being of service. And, you know, you can make sure the room is right. You can, you know, there's so many things you, to influence somebody to be a partner with you. You know, uh, it's about people. It's about people. And then even with the green, I mean, those are the, the hardest people. Um, like the friend that I was just telling you, you know, a green person, they're going to analyze this thing. They're going to tear up the compensation plan. They're going to look at the syllabus. They want to get a sneak peek of the syllabus to see if it's worth the $99, you know, because their reputation is on the line. They're highly organized. They, you know, they're a person that's OCD in life, <laughs> you know. Um, you know, they want to make sure that they're not going to look bad. They, they're very analytical. They got to make sure they got the best deal. So when you're trying to influence them, you, you have to know the information. You know, well, explain me, the, explain the compensation plan to me again. And, you know, and, it's, and that sounds too good to be true. And you got to be able to say, oh, I don't know all the answers, you know, because they're going to make you feel like you don't know all the answers, you know, but you really want them on board. Because if you get a green analytical person, you have an ace, 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 because if they ever join, their influence with their circle is so powerful because people know well, if they got involved, it's got to be something because they don't get involved in things that much. So when you're trying to influence somebody that's an influencer, <laughs> then you have to be able to be connected to someone that can meet them at their level if you can. So leadership is about people. It's not about a position. It's about really who you are and what you're trying to do. And some people, they try to influence people in the worst way. I'm gonna give you a list and we're gonna talk about one mainly, but I'm gonna give you a list of from the worst to the best. You know, force. You can't force people to make a decision. You cannot force people. Don't you try? You know, you try to. You, you don't never give up. You're pushing them. You know, um, you have to let them go. You have to know when to let go. You can't force people to be on your team because you see that it's the greatest thing. That doesn't mean they're going to see it's the it's the greatest thing. Um, you can't, you, and so many people do this. And then when they can't get the person to join, they act like that's the only person that they have to talk to. They, they want to quit because they can't get this one person to join that might not be really that good in the business. They're just trying to hit the numbers. We have the mature in Tradera where we're looking for caliber. We're looking for people that um, can help us grow this thing. We're still in that formulation foundation stage. We haven't hit critical mass yet. So being that we're still in that space, now we've already got past the, the bumps and the bruises of the beginning stages of a business. Now it's time to start maturing and, and choosing. And, and when you talk to people, start taking it away. Oh, this may, maybe it's not for you. People hate when you take stuff away from them. You know, maybe, can you share this with, or let me know of some people that are looking for a better quality of life, somebody that really needs this. Maybe they have their child they're trying to get in school or somebody that just got hit with this pandemic. Can you share, can you give me a list of a few people that you know that you've talked to, you know, because this is for a certain type of person. This is not too good to be true. This is real. 
And this is going to change so many people's lives. And I, I said a prayer this morning with my prayer partner. I said, God, please bless the owners of this company so this company can last for generations because it's just that good. I mean, I'm serious. Please let it last from Cody and Easton to their children and their children. They take over the business. I pray that Tradera lasts because we cannot mess this up. This is just too good. And it is too good to be true because it's just that good. But it can be true. It's up to us. So we have to start picking the right people and being more influenced in lives of people that are real and really want it. Now, we're going to get a whole bunch of people that are going to join because they see everybody else joining. But when you get those people from the day they join, it's up to you if you can cultivate them into the right mindset of what we're trying to achieve here. But don't try to get people to be what they're not and don't try to get people to see what they can't see. You can go back to them, okay? Right now, you're looking for your executive board. And you don't want to be like a job where it's my way or the highway. You know, with jobs, you have uh, bosses where, and it doesn't even work today. Back in the day, you know, you could come to somebody with a great idea. I mean, it makes sense. It's, you know, it could change the, the course of an organization. It can make things better. It can simplify things. And, you know, back in the day, you could share that idea with a supervisor or a boss. They do one of two things. They either steal it and act like it's their own and get credit for it. Or they'll say, uh-uh, it's my way or the highway, even if their way is the wrong way. So you don't want to intimidate people as well, especially on your team. You know, we have um, team training calls on Tuesday morning. There's no PowerPoint. I do that on Wednesday. We have an open dialogue, open conversation, and you know, people can express themselves and give ideas because we are a team. Together, each achieves more. So you want people to feel comfortable. You don't want to feel like they're, they're intimidated to get in. You know, if you don't get in, you do blah, 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 blah. You know, and then you don't want to manipulate. You know, you don't want to manipulate people to get in either, especially your family. You know, well, I'm not going to give you no money if you don't join or whatever. I mean, you know, there's different ways to influence people. But you want to influence people where, you know, everybody can win. Through exchange, we, we both win something. You know, we both win something. But intimidation, my way, the highway is the worst way. And that's the, the one I was going to touch on now because, you know, I joined teams before where the leader said, you know, if you didn't follow my way, I wasn't going to help you. I mean, I had one leader that told me that if, if, it, if you don't follow the, the way that I do business, you know, you know, follow my training and blah, 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 you know, you know, and I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to help you win. Who says that, <laughs> you know? So I winded up not following because I'm not a follower. I'm, I was on my way to be a leader. I'm just not a follower. It's just like when people leave something and they say, well, if I leave, I'm going to take my team. You know, don't be that follower. Learn to be a leader. Learn to be somebody that influences others to have a better quality of life through trust and, and, and togetherness. You know, but I left that company and I, and I winded up learning. I partnered with John Maxwell and everybody else because I'm going to choose who who I lead, who leads me and who I serve. I'm going to choose. This is my life. This is your life. And you want to better your life. I started picking up books because I wanted to learn from people that had made it, not from that might not even know me. They didn't even know they were my mentors, but I picked up books. I started reading books. I listened to cassette tapes and DVDs and CDs and everything else and <laughs> VHS and, and things like that. I, I bought it all from, you know, regular people all the way up to Christian <laughs> pastors and everything. I learned from everybody. But you know, when I went out on my own and started learning on my own, I became successful. I earned an $80,000 car paid for cash in my name. I won trips that I would have never won before. I had to step out on my own against the grain of what everybody else was doing to learn what Linda needed for her life and my family and what I wanted for my future generations. You know, you get on these trainings and you, you see what lights your fire. You see what you get. You, everything might not fit your personality, but you see what you can grab from it. And I paid thousands, if not a million in personal development over my life. That's how bad I wanted it. And so you can't 
intimidate. You don't want your team to feel like you micromanaging them. You meet people on the level they are and you help them get to where they are. Because if you don't, people are gonna disengage. They're gonna quit your team. They're not gonna wanna be a part of Chidera because the leader, the person is telling them, you know, do it this way instead of, you know, what makes you comfortable? Let me go over this one page and show you what we got. Let me give you this playbook and show you where we at. And let me help you and let's find out, you know, are you gonna be a trader? Are you gonna be, you can't force people to do what they don't wanna do. Are you gonna be a, a trader, student, a student of the academy? Or do you wanna build massive wealth? Or do you wanna do both? First find out what place they're gonna play, play on your team. And then you let them know as a student, I understand, but at least get it for free. At least get it for free. You know, if you start making even $50 a day, $100 a day, share it with somebody and let them know. I mean, do you know how much you can help somebody? And you put them in positions where they agree. Yeah, if I do this, I'll help some people. And I always wanted to help people. Let them make that decision. And you know, when we, when I lead in a, in a, in a Bible study or a church situation, and I'm not, I'm not trying to get religious on people, but when I, when I lead a Bible study, it's not to, you know, read the, the word to them and, and make them take notes. It's to lead them to think and answer the questions. When you're leading a group, you want to lead to the point where you might ask a question and let them think and come up with a solution on their own. Because if they come up with a solution on their own, that they want to be successful, they will be successful. But if you try to influence them in the wrong way because of your status or your ability or whatever, you know, they can wind up getting disengaged and not want to be a part of it. So why do you want to influence? Why do you want to influence? One thing to remember is why do you do something will ultimately determine what your level of influence with others will be. Right motives are crucial to people because leadership functions on the basis of trust. Without trust, influence is nothing more than manipulation. But you want to influence people because you might have been influenced and learned something valuable. And you want to be an influence because you want people to see that value. You want people to see that they can have a better life. They might not see anything but through you. And that goes in all aspects of life. Some people not, might not be exposed to things that you were exposed to that could change them and help them be better. You know, so you have to let things be through you, live through you. They might, you might be the only, and we say this at church, you might be the only Bible they get to read. You know, so you have to live your life to the point where you're valuable to people. And, and most leaders realize that if they could just, you know, get another 10% out of everybody on their team, <laughs> if they could just get another 10% of effort out of their team, that would help them so much, but it also would help their team. If I could just take the team I have right now and just influence them or help them to see that if they just put in another 10%, of their time, another 10% of their energy. Don't try to make them bigger than what they really want to be or feel they could be because you don't want them to, you know, back out or back down. You want to take them in increments of, because you see what they could be, but they might not see it. So you said, man, if I could just get another 10%, um, you know, of them without trying to coerce them, without trying to manipulate them, but really show them. Don't say, My, if, you, if I get another 100% out of you, no. If I could just get another 10%, and once they get to that extra 10%, they can see that they can go another 10% and another 90%. You know, um, Stephen Covey said, trust and the speed at which it is established with clients and employees is the essential ingredient for any high performance. Trust and the speed. See, you have to gain trust with people in a, in a fast pace. You have a, a short window of time to get their trust if they're gonna join you in business, okay? So you want people, you, you can't influence people if they don't trust you. But when there is trust, the team knows that they are there for each other and for the shared interest of the team, okay? Um, that's why it's so important to try to build a relationship because when you build a relationship, you build trust. But you wanna have that trust so people will be influenced. 
by you. But now remember, influence goes both ways. I've seen people influence their team because they're upset about something. Now the whole everybody got to follow them because they're mad. One person's emotion will tear up so many people's lives if, they, if all those people follow that one person. Whether they were a good person or, or a bad person, especially if they're a bad person, and they want to do things against the uh, criteria of the company, or they, they want to do things against compliance or whatever, and they want to, you know, and they get upset because it's their way or the highway, and they want to leave, and they take a whole bunch of innocent people with them, <laughs> you know, um, you know, people will trust people on different levels. Influence comes on different levels. You want to be that influence where you're doing everything the best you can be. You're doing it in the best form you can be. You're the best of who you are in Tradera because you're trying to get to the top. And we want people with character. Tradera mixes business with integrity. It's on the front page of the website. Did you read the website? Did you read the compensation plan? I mean, People of influence know what they know. They know the business. They know the ins and outs of the company. Um, they've really done their homework. They're almost green. <laughs> you know, green is the person that's organized and does the research. And they, you know, they get the consumer guides and they check out one car versus another car when they're both the same car, but they want to make sure they get the right money or the right, you know, opportunity. But you got to kick in your green, too, because I forgot to tell you that you're all four colors, but your dominant color is what makes um, you get involved with somebody based off of if they match up with your dominant color. So, you know, if you're, if you're, you know, red, you still got to be, pull your green side out when you go to look at the compensation plan and when you want to really analyze everything, because the more you know, people will know what you know. If you trying to influence somebody and you haven't done your homework, you, you know, you're just trying to manipulate somebody to be your partner when you don't even know what you're involved with. So learn the company, learn as much as you can be the best you can be. So when you're talking to somebody, you build that trust because they see you're knowledgeable. And people want to know three things. Do you care about me? <laughs> Do you really care about me? Or are you trying to get the legend? Do you really care enough to take time with me? And, you know, when we create more leaders by simply showing them that it's really simple, it's just taking what you learn and helping people, even if you have to do it together, say, look, we'll become leaders together in this company. But if, you, if everybody has to depend on one leader, it hurts that leader because then we can't be there for everybody and everybody's going to feel like, you know, you didn't answer my call. You're not there for me. You know, and, and we're working with people on our eighth, ninth, and tenth level, trying to keep them in the game when they, they've been left orphan. But, you know, when you bring somebody in, do you really care enough? Well, number one, I'm not going to quit on you. Because if you bring me in, don't leave the company. <laughs> don't leave me. You know, you told me this was the best thing since sliced bread. So if you care about me, let's stick and stay till we get our pay. Unless there's something wrong with the company. I'm talking when I mean something wrong with the company where the owners are, their, their character integrity is really shot. Or they, you know, they have they have bad motives of why they started this company, or they embezzle, or something happens with the company. That's when I quit. Is when the company does something that's unethical. Other than that, if they're paying every week and the and the and the it makes sense, the business is is on point and people can prosper, and nobody's gonna go nowhere. Even if they have little glitches, you can be involved with your job and they have glitches. You just don't know about it, but the top brass knows everything. There could be problems in your church you don't know about because you're just a member that sits on the pew. But once you get involved, you know the ins and outs and you see what it really takes to make a company. It really takes to build a company. But it takes just as much for a leader to make sure that they have the same character integrity as a company. And people want to know, do you really care about me? Can you help me? No, I can't because I just got involved. But let's go call Megan. Let's go call Reagan. Let's go call somebody that can help us. Somebody that's willing to help us and take the time. Let's get on the 11 o'clock training call. You know, if you're trying to be a leader and you don't know all the answers, that's okay. Let's. Let's do this. Let's do that. Instead of just no and leaving them alone or you disregard their phone calls or hiding, you know, let's work this out together. This is what's going to make us strong. This is what's going to make us a powerful company. 
when it's a let's thing. Let's figure it out. We could get this done. Let's, I mean, the money is there. They got a million dollars waiting for us. The compensation plan is getting better. It's not getting worse. The website is getting better. They're adding new tools, new services. There's no reason to go anywhere. Only thing we got to do is get our knowledge together and get, get educated in Trinera and really know what we have in our hands. So then when we talk to the people, it takes less effort and we have higher influence. Can I trust you? Can I trust you? That's all they want to know. These are the three things that people want to know. And how to increase your influence? It comes with adding value to other people. When people see you in the community, in your church, in your, in your, your community, in your workplace, or wherever you are, and they see that you're that type of person that comes in on time and smiles. If you're going to go to the coffee machine, get come to work 15 minutes early and get your coffee. Have integrity. Get on the conference calls. Don't have it that people got to text you all the time. And then when you get on the conference call, mute yourself out. Know what it takes to have a good system and be a part of that system. And then add value to other people. Spend time with them. Call them. How's it going? What's going on? Haven't heard from you in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy with, with everybody else over here and I don't want you to think that I'm not there for you. Deanna, everybody knows Deanna DeWitt, you know, everybody knows her. She's one of my aces of aces of aces, but I still got to take her three-way call, even though she got my, that leg, her and Alameen got that leg all the way to Queen or Empress, Empress rather. I mean, I still have to be there. I still have to add value to them. I don't want them ever to see me as the person that, thanks for getting me there. Now you're no longer important in my life. I still got to do three-way calls with them. Even if they go past Icon, if they get me the Icon, I still, because I want them to stick and stay as well. When we add value to ourselves, we become more valuable to others. You have to believe in yourself as well. You have to work on you. You're the center of a compass. You got North, South, East, and West. You're that center point. And in order to influence everybody else, you got to be able to influence yourself. Will people work with me? You know, am I, am I really believing in me? Because if you don't believe in you, nobody else is going to believe in you. Do I believe? And, and I'm not saying you're going to get that right away, but work on what it takes for you to believe in yourself. But you have to add value to yourself and become more value, to become more valuable to others. And then this is the key. If you don't do anything, you have to have reflection. And you now you got to ask yourself questions every single day. And I, and I challenge you for the next seven days to, to, to reflect. I challenge you over the next seven days, at the end of the day, what went right today? What did I do right? You want to change how things are? You, want, you don't want the same things going on in your life, the same problems happening month after month, day after day, year after year, and people see you as a problem, no, no growth and no potential? You know, start reflection. You are the influence. What went right today? Did I do everything right today that I could do in my ability? Did I eat right today? Did I um, make my list today? Did I call at least five to 10 people today? If I had the time or two to three people today, you know, did, what went right today for me? What went wrong? <laughs> what went wrong? I knew I shouldn't have ate them carbs, but I ate them anyway. What went wrong today? Did you not do anything today or in the last three days? <laughs> Didn't you not stick to a plan or a system? What went wrong today? Even though it was something that was out of your, your scope, something that had nothing to do with you, something that you didn't create, it wasn't your fault, but still write it down. What went right today? What went wrong today? And what can I do differently? Tomorrow, I, gotta, I really, really got to call some people tomorrow. I got to turn that TV off. I got to stay out of Facebook. You know, Facebook, social media has destroyed so many people because everybody looks at what everybody else is doing and it kills and depresses people. Because you think you're not living up to the standard that they're living up to, which isn't really what they're living up to anyway, most of them. They're putting things out there to impress people. But in reality, people that know them, know them. But some people get depressed and, 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 and belittle themselves because they see other people succeeding and their business is flourishing and all this stuff. And it could not, it doesn't necessarily have to be real, but we internalize that as, a, as showing that we're a failure. No. Focus on this. Reflect on you. What went right today for me? 
What went wrong for me today? What can I do differently tomorrow? And plan that out. Lead yourself better and others will follow. Lead yourself better and others will follow. Mastering your ability to positively influence others is the key to personal and professional growth in your life and in Trudera. Make this the best year yet. You got 65 more days to change it around. So when New Year's comes, you're not making no New Year's intention. I don't call it resolutions. I call it intentions. But you're not making a New Year's intention because you're starting now. New Year's is just the, the, the breakthrough from the seeds you're planting now. And while people are just getting starting, started every new year, no, every day is your new year. Every day is your day to make a better life for you, your family, and be a great influence for people that are around you. So that is what I wanted to share today. Um, I hope some people got some benefit out of it. Megan, um, I'm going to unshare my screen. <laughs> And get going to do some sit-ups today. <laughs> uh, Actually, as soon as this is over, nobody call me. I'm starting my 10 sit-ups and 10 push-ups today. Man, this is so, such amazing training. I'm going to open it up for questions because it's 11.55, so we're going to take some questions. I, amazing. I so needed to hear this today. Um, Believe it or not, you know, there are some days where I'm like, man, did I do enough? Um, and it's part of the reason why I keep the, the calendar, because I know you are ultra organized, Linda. You and Megan. Um, so definitely want to take some questions. Um, I, I have a question that someone sent me while uh, she was talking. As usual, you are absolutely awesome. And uh, you all, I'm running, as you know, uh, I'm preparing for my brother's services this weekend. Listen, somebody says to me, Dr. PK, I'm just struggling with my business. Uh, my response to them, Linda, was dead, dead ducks don't struggle. As long as you're struggling, you're moving. So that's a good thing. But would you help uh, this young lady who uh, has been in the business? She is working really uh, diligently at... Um, inviting people however nobody is biting and she uh wants to be poured into and encouraged if you could just say a word or two uh to her about the period of struggling in the business and what that means and where she's going if she continues to struggle okay well first we're going to get rid of that word struggle okay we're going to get rid of that word struggle and uh, you know when people say i'm battling wait, I'm battling this. If you say you're battling your struggle, you're always in a fight. Let's get rid of that word first, you know, and just say, I have to learn how to, to, to get people to, uh, I have to learn how to get people to say, yes, I got to learn. I have to learn. I'm, I'm, I'm on my way to learn. And, you know, I'm going to start doing, and, I, and I'm, I'm going to start doing this over the next couple of weeks, start using some of my um, John Maxwell vault information and I'll help you throughout over the next couple of weeks. But what I would, I did first when I was going through it, I, I went and party with somebody or a partnership or a buddy system or accountability partner and things like that. And um, just get somebody that can encourage me. They might not know more than you, but together you will get through it. I have a friend, he's got to be in his nineties and he says, I'm in the battle, but I refuse to give up. Every time I say something, I'm, hey, Elder Lanier, how you doing? Hey, girl, I'm in the battle and I refuse to give up. So if you're going to say battle, always come back with something showing that you refuse to give up. Refuse to give up, you know, um, and just slow the pace down. You know, don't call 10 people. When you've called three and they have said no, call somebody and say, can you help me? Don't go through your whole list. And, 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 and with the, the feeling that you're struggling, I'm going to put my number in the chat privately. Whoever that is, Dr. PK has my number. Dr. PK, give her my number. I'll put it that way. I'm a business coach. And, um, you know, I, I oh, want to just give her my I, phone. I'll do, I'll and, do that. You know, thank you so, so very much. And she definitely has strong work ethic. She uh, uh, has been up working since 3 a.m., and then she reached out to me. Now, that's one thing that I'd like to highlight uh, as a part of this is when you find yourself feeling stuck, don't 
just give up. Do what you can while you're in that area. However, reach out to somebody like she did me. I mean, she just said, I just don't know what else to do. I don't know you. I'm down the line for Megan. Can you please help me? This is what's going on. And she went on and told me. And I know without a shadow of a doubt, she's doing it right but she is stuck right here that she needs a coach all of us need to be coached and you need somebody who can pour into your life when you uh get here um, and see the reason why i can't and the reason why i can't give a generic answer is because it's it's, it's based off of who she is you right. know everybody's different i can't sit here and tell everybody the same you know magic that's, right. that's gonna make it work First, I got to find out what's holding her back as an individual. Absolutely. And, uh, so give give her my phone number and um, I'll I'll talk to her. Thank you. God bless you. All have a super fantastic day. Yes, ma'am. Hey guys, I'm gonna throw this video. So Linda, yes, last night, um, I was thinking. I was like, man, I need to get into my personal development because you know, as a leader, when you're the one talking all the time, I've been getting on Adrian Sloan's morning call at ten because I'm like. And I know you do one as well, but I knew you were speaking today. So I got on his 10 o'clock because as leaders, you know, we have to be recharged. <laughs> so yeah. and it's not just be recharged. So I'm going to drop this video in the chat. So Linda, I found this, this guy, he was in HCN and you know, like everybody was in that company at some point, like they always said they got really great training and it's this young guy, his name is Max Knowles and I'm going to watch this training, this training video every single day because I want to duplicate or replicate his training with my own ideas, but I want to, I want to replicate his training because I think it was just phenomenal. I'm going to throw it in. Um, somebody asked, what does the whip mean? I'm going to throw this into the chat, guys, this video, if I can. Hold on one second. Whip stands, it's in this video, and I, this video is called How to Recruit. 20,000 people in your MLM business. And mm -hmm. I gain so much from this video. Um, and I'm just going to, I told myself last night or two o'clock in the morning, I'm going to watch it every single day for uh, the next, like all of November. And I want to do the training when I go to know out to Atlanta, because I think it's so powerful. So I'm going to drop it into the chat so you guys can watch it. Tell me what you think. I got so much from it that I'm going to implement. Um, I just dropped it in there. WIP stands for look for people who have a work ethic, who um, it's for, I got it from this video, uh, who have a work ethic, hungry for an opportunity, who have integrity and who have personal power. And he said that you have to fall in love with the pain, like growing it, it when you're in pain, when you're going through something like the young lady who's kind of like, I don't know what else to do. That pain can take you to the next level. You're fall in love with the pain because it means you're growing and you're getting better. And he said that you have to have a whip list. You got to make your whole entire list, but focus on the people who have a work ethic, hungry for an opportunity, integrity, and who have personal power because you don't want to be going after the people who need the opportunity necessarily. Look for the people who really want an opportunity. And then he said, then get a hit list, hit every person on the list and knock them out speed and exposure you know so when you're when i'm feeling stuck like last night i'm like i need to get some new people into my business then i go to my personal development and if i can't get linda rogers brown go to youtube and watch a video and find somebody who's powerful his name is max knowles kn i'll i drop the youtube K-N-O-W-L-E-S. He's a very young, young guy, you guys, but he is very, very knowledgeable. I've uh, watched him as well. Yeah. Um, Megan, I, I really have to run today. I'm so, I apologize. Okay, I'm never sorry. I apologize. But listen, you guys, today for those senior citizens in your community, in your organization, on your team, around you, uh, Duke Ernest of Fleming is the person who absolutely uh, knows how to motivate and uh, encourage. So put them on seniorpreneurs uh, for this afternoon. Today is Wednesday. We do this only one uh, day a week, 6 p.m. All righty. I put I'm it in. Uh, I put it in the Telegram guys for the seniorpreneurs info. 
and for their telegram i put it in there thank you you're welcome so who has a question guys um let me unmute for a second it's 1203 we're only going to stay on here until 1215 because i got to go is that okay linda yeah it's fine okay and then we got to go because i today is like uh exceptionally busy exciting day <laughs> of income producing activities <laughs> All right, um, who unmute real quick, guys. No testimonial Tuesdays, please. If you have a really, really quick question, jump in there. Margaret, what's your question? Uh, can you explain to me what do I say to someone that I call? What do I say to them yes. when I call them? I want you to go to page six <laughs> in the playbook, and there's a whole bunch of scripts in there, really short scripts. Go to page six in the book, and I'm about to post it again in the Telegram. Because if you're launching your business, it says somebody asked me, like, what do I say? And I'm like, I need it's in the playbook. It says, I'm on here, hey, are you? Um, I'm super excited. I just found a way for us to learn how to trade Forex, and we can really do this from home and make an amazing income. Or are you looking for a business opportunity? Are you keeping your business options open? Are you looking to make some extra income? Are you looking to, so all this stuff is on page six in the playbook, right? Okay. And then okay. sometimes you guys have to understand, listen, when you're first getting started, it's not what you say to them. It's how you feel about what you say to them. And I wish that people would launch their businesses the right way. <laughs> Linda, I plead this. I wish people would launch their businesses the right way because, and when I say the right way, I mean all out massive exposure. If I told you guys right now, and this is the, the part that makes parents mad, right? If I tell my kids, well, if you clean your room, I'll give you a hundred dollars. No, get in the clean your room anyway, <laughs> right? Like, funny. Uh, if we say it to them, if I told my kid, they do it anyway. They're really good about cleaning their own stuff, but some stuff they're not good about. <laughs> but why do I have to bribe you to do it, right? But I promise you guys, if I told you, because I say it every day, make your list and call every single person into anymore the first day that you come into a business. That's no major leader has a script really not when we're in the beginning not when we're all out massive launching our first day you know what i said to my people my first day my top eight to ten people hey mm -hmm. i just joined Tradera. it's 99 bucks you guys want a position because i'm about to put in 500 to 5,000 people you rolling or not okay i'm doing a call tomorrow night and then i called everybody i knew dry market cold market warm market I exhausted everybody in one day until I couldn't speak. Hey, I'm doing a call tomorrow night at nine o'clock. Can you be on it? I'm excited about it. I can't talk right now. Be on my call. No, but everybody else wants to slow roll and say the perfect things to their people. And no, whatever you have to do to get them on your very first call, get them on your very first call. And then you're not going to care who says no because you're gonna have called so many people that it's impossible for you guys to not get three people your first day. It's just that people do it too slowly and with too much thought. Stop thinking and just do it. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of that coach, right? I, and if I, I go sell candy apples tomorrow, Linda, I'm still gonna, and they have the same comp plan though. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, if they don't have this comp plan, I can't tell you what, exactly i'm going to do but if they have the same comp plan and it was candy apples guess what i'm going to hit a hundred thousand dollars a month not in 13 weeks i'm going to do it in seven can i can i share share my screen right quick i just want to show one slide please do okay i just want to share this one slide and when people ask me what do i say to people um you know this is i say what i feel um at the moment so i hate this slide <laughs> i hate it and I say, are we tired? When I'm talking to people that I have influence with, aren't we tired of being where we are in the wealth gap? Are you tired of working that job, you know, and, and having goals that you can't reach? Are we at that point where we just, 
need something to change that in our lives. And we don't want our children to go there. So if I already know the person, if I know a person, if I know a person, I'm, I'm not gonna go to them and say anything about Tradera and Forex or whatever. I'm gonna go based off what I know. You know, I've, I've seen, you know, you're struggling. I've seen you not happy on your job. I've seen you, whatever you know about them. And if you don't know, ask some questions. And just say, are you ready for change? Well, I partnered with this company and I got changed. I mean, I didn't even see it, how fast I could change my life until I got involved with this company. I mean, my first check, people, was $250. You know, and I was in a bad situation. Just like Megan said she was in a bad situation and Reagan. And most people that came in Trader that are leaders up here today came in where their backs were against the wall already. They were tired of being that and they saw opportunity. Mine was because I have a, a business and because of the pandemic and locked in the house, I was losing income and I didn't want to be on the street. I don't care if they said they weren't going to kick you out or whatever. I didn't want to even feel nervous about not being able to make it. I didn't know how long this pandemic was going to last. So I went looking for something. Then I told people my testimony. The first thing you tell people is why you did it. You know, when people, you ask them, what should I say to people? First, say what you did. You know, I got involved with this company because I wanted more. I wanted, I, I was worried. I, the pandemic had me scared. I was losing income and I, I, I wasn't making enough money to even just live the basic life. I had to find something or somebody introduced this to me at the right time. And I got involved because I saw a way it could change my, my life it could, or it could help me or save me from where I am right now. And I don't know where the future is going and nobody knows. I don't know if this is political. I don't know if it's just something going on or whatever. We don't know. We have to take the word of other people, but I'm not going to put my life in the hands of other people. So I had to find something that could change my life. And I found this company and I partnered with these people and I, I don't know all of it. So do you mind, holding on because I want somebody to talk to you. If you don't know what to say, that's all you need to say. All you need to say is your testimony. Why did you get involved with Jadera? What made you join Jadera? And then say, you know, that's why I got involved. And I know this is probably can help. This could probably help you and your family as well. So let me get a person on the phone. Give me two seconds and get the, or already have the person on there like Deanna. Have the person sit there waiting and say, look, I got this <laughs> partner on the phone here already and she's going to tell you why she got involved and what this company can do for you three-way on your testimony yes love it testimony and then that's the type of person that i got people that say well they will they won't watch a video they don't do the webinar don't even do that just call them up if you know them if it's a stranger you never met a this stranger say you know what i purchased your name and number or if, if you got them from a list because i i got list before and I would call people and say, well, I didn't put my name on a list. Well, you had to because I haven't. You don't know me. And you know what? This could be a good sign. Give, give me a second to explain something. This could be a good, this could be what you've been praying for. Because evidently, I'm, this is a divine intervention. You know, I'll take their mind off the fact that I got their name and they might not have wanted to give it and turn it into something that will make them listen and then get to know them. So tell me a little bit about what's going on. Tell me a little bit about yourself, you know, and then just listen and they'll give you the answer. But this chart right here, has been haunting me for years. I'm 62 this year, December. This, ch this chart right here has been haunting me for years. I wanna decrease the gap in wealth and, and net worth in our country. I wanna be a part of that solution. But if this is a, a good reason and a good incentive for us to, as a culture, as no matter what race we are here in Tradera, we want everybody to succeed. We're family, so we wanna, decrease the gap in net worth and everybody reach the level they can reach in Tradera and uh, make it better. I hope that helped. Yeah. Hope that helped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys, awesome. and guys, you're going to, you're going to get better at it, but if you don't do it, if you do it sporadically, it's just like, if you guys decide to work out sporadically, you're never going to get to that point where, your body feels kind of normal. It's always going to be a, a stress and a struggle because you can't do it one time and then wait five days and do another three-way call. Try, not try, just do it. Just when you're talking to people, um, I was on with Francine and we did two different back-to-back three-way calls and I approached both people the same but different because you got to listen to people. I was talking to one gentleman. He knows how to trade. He's got a new baby that's a year old. So I know he's kind of busy. However, he's mm -hmm. like, oh, 
I'm like, well, congratulations, how's the baby? I'm listening, talk to your people. And then he said, oh no, she, she's one, she's sleeping through the night, she's okay. He didn't sound bothered at all. Talk to the next girl, she's got two babies, she's door dashing, single parent, right? She didn't sound like he sounded. <laughs> so I'm not gonna tell her, well, just get started trading. I just told her, I said, listen, how much money do you need to make for real though? to make your life a little bit better to, do you wanna stay home with the babies? Yeah, I do. How much money do you need to make to not door dash anymore? Cause my son used to door dash, but now he makes 10,000 a month. How much money do you need to make? I needed $3,000 to not have to work a job. She's like, well, I mean, two, I don't really even know, 2000, maybe 2,500. I'm like, okay, listen, we have a great product, but I really think that you need to get money out of the way first so you can stay home with the babies. Do you want me to help you? That's why the more three-way calls you guys do, the better you're gonna get because you're listening, you're in training, but you can't call me to do a three-way today and you don't do another three-way call for another two weeks and you wonder why your business isn't growing. It's consistency. Consistency over and over and over and over and over again and keep putting somebody different in front of the information over and over and over and over again until you find you, right? Yeah. It's just people are not consistent. They just do this business like it's a hobby. That's why I bring Linda in and Tanny because as a coach, you know, your coach sometimes can get a little bit um, harsh because they're saying the same thing over and over again and then they get mad and I always under I know what I feel like when I start getting frustrated when I'm just like just do it <laughs> I know I got to bring somebody else in so thank you Linda oh no problem thank you <laughs> I should be doing way more three-way calls guys after the two o'clock and the nine o'clock but I don't I don't do three ways after the two and the nine and it confuses me because after the two and the nine is when you should be doing three ways or right before the two and the nine, you should be doing three ways and saying, hey, listen, I got my brother on real quick. He doesn't know a lot, but I, I know he wants to make some money. Let me introduce you to him. And then let me, hey, John. <laughs> um, so I don't know how much information you have. Have you watched any videos? Have you been on a webinar? No. Are you looking to make some money? Do you have a couple minutes? I'm about to do a call in like 20 minutes. Can you get on this call really quickly and kind of hear what our, our team is doing? We're already paying out a million dollars a week in commissions and we got a lot of people who use our product. We're having great success. Not to mention our mission is to create a new Wall Street. Are you interested? Okay, look, can you get on real quick? All right, great, right after the call. Can we call you right back? We'll get your question. Boom. Lock them into the business, sign them up, run them through the system. <laughs> okay. People don't do that. Who else has a question out there? Because it's 12. I have, a question. I have a quick question. Yes. Uh, when we're doing the three way calls, how many three ways should we be trying to attempt to do per call? I'm, I'm confused. No, because I had a couple of people, I had a couple of people that well, got on the uh, eight o'clock, but I'm like, there was no way we could do three ways back to back like that. And I was like, well, maybe I'm trying to do two. No, it's never too many. It's, hold on, somebody needs to mute. It's never too many, Tim. You guys, listen, leaders are not busy. We're working. It's a difference, right? So I always tell people, when people always say, well, Megan's really busy. No, I'm not. I'm not busy because busy sounds negative. It sounds like I'm too busy to help my team. No, I'm working. I'm doing three-way calls nonstop. So that's all I do all day, 20 hours out of the day. From the time I wake up until I go to bed, I'm not busy. I'm working. So you guys are going to have to find people who are not just the, the leader. I, I couldn't get... Dominique on the phone right now because she's working, right? So I have to kind of learn how to do some things myself, but you don't need to go to the $100,000 a month earner. At some point, you guys are going to be the $100,000 a month earner and people aren't going to be able to get you because you're working. So what you guys are going to have to do is not feel like you always have to go to the person with the biggest check. You might not get that person. 
you got people in your own downline, train them to do your three ways. I will three way with Deanna. I signed up Reagan, Reagan signed up Linda, Linda signed up Deanna, Deanna signed up, you know, I can go to the people who don't necessarily have the biggest uh, a check like mine, but use your team to do three ways. Does that make sense, Tim? Yeah, because people just have to know you're telling the truth. It could be somebody that just started the same day you did. All they're telling is, yeah, I saw it myself. I saw Megan making, <laughs> she's at 100000 a month. All somebody has to do is get on there with you and say, yeah, and, and just confirm what you're saying in a professional way. Right, yeah, you're not going to be able to get the leader that you always want to get. You become the leader that you want to be, right? You, you become that leader. And if, Tim, if, how many people have you signed up so far? uh so far none okay have you officially launched your business no but my uh upline wants me to do the lunch on this friday okay but do you want to do the <laughs> scratch the upline i want you to watch <laughs> the video <laughs> i want you to watch this video i just posted linda did you want to take it no <laughs> okay. well first of all i'm gonna tell you something like you know like megan says she's 100 percent right um you do things when you want you want to launch you want to make we've all said that you need to be night to night or night and 48 hours 72 hours tops but you know you can't always wait on your leader especially if they're a busy leader you say well look i'm gonna launch today you know um and just get in one person accountability partner somebody can help you both of you start together it's okay but um you know get them on a five minute launch if you have to with just a five minute uh webinar I can't even speak. I just think people are too comfortable. I think that the people I talk to, because you guys have jobs, it's not a priority. It was a priority for me because priority for me. I did not have a job mm -hmm. and I only had $150 in my bank account when I started. I had money in my trading account, but I knew that I wasn't going to use that money. And I like to use the money. I like to be in business and i just think people are too comfortable right. today what's today wednesday friday mm -hmm. you should be launching the day that you sign up in this business i'm doing a call every let me slow down i'm doing a call every day guys at two and nine i don't even i promise you guys i could probably not do another call for a month and i would still my income is solidified at a hundred thousand a month I'm not doing these calls because I need to do them. I'm doing these calls because I'm trying to, I'm focused on helping you guys get to the next level. So take advantage of it. You don't have to wait until Friday to launch. The moment that you guys sign up in the business, you should be nonstop launching on every call that we have. I got a call at two. I have a call at uh, nine. Adrian Sloan has a call at four. He's got a call at seven. Bob Morant and um, Coach Epps has a call at seven, right? You should be launching on every call until you get your three, until you, if you really want it, though. That's what I'm saying. If you really want it bad enough, you would run your list until you can't speak anymore, and you would Malcolm X your launch. By any means necessary, you would call every single person you know, three-way, boom, boom, boom and put them on the opportunity call, follow up with them, are you rolling or not? And I know that's not everybody's personality. And if you don't wanna do it that way, you don't have to do it that way, but you're not gonna have the results. If you're okay with not having the results that, that leaders have, and you're okay with slow rolling this thing, cause you can still make a million dollars a month. It just might take you a little bit longer to do it. And um, Megan, I, I did want to address one thing. Someone put in a chat to me that they're 69 and they have someone that's um, 62 and um, they don't know. In other words, they're seniors and they want to know how do they get to do this business? Well, first of all, baby boomers, most baby boomers that are in their 60s right now are exhausted. They've been doing network marketing since the early 60s, uh, 50s and 60s. And so they have been in this industry forever. They've been trying to make it. And, they, and you know, 
unfortunately, just today, opportunities that where they can really make it with ease is, is coming to fruition. But what I tell people that are seniors, you have to talk generational wealth. That's your conversation with people. When you're talking to your peers who don't want to learn a new skill set or, you know, um, just you have to tell them, look, we it's our responsibility to help the future generations of our family not go through what we went through. That's your conversation. That's how you influence seniors to come come on board. Because, you know, a lot of them don't want to learn trading right now. That's fine. But you can still succeed and supplement your social security because they don't even have enough for us as it is by, you know, connecting with other seniors and saying, look, let's get talk to our children and our children's children, our children and our grandchildren. Mm -hmm. and start getting them on the path of a on a different path that we had to to take in our life so seniors are great because most people won't tell seniors no in the first place <laughs> they don't say no to seniors and babies okay they can sell anything but it's how our conversation has to be based off of we're doing this for our family and you should do this for your family and at least introduce it to them so that they don't have to be on the paycheck to paycheck lifestyle more month than money or not have any work at all, you know, and change that. Change it for the future well, generations in your family. Absolutely. Tim, did you want to? Yeah, I know that there's, you know, one thing I wanted to correct too, because I kind of, I had misspoke in that, is what my upline had kind of been wanting me to do the lunch, but I wasn't certain on how to go by doing it. Did you watch the well, was, Bugs video in the in the playbook? Yes, I watched I watched it, but then at the same time it's like I don't know, I think it's more of a nerve a nervous thing for me. Mm -hmm. It is, and that's why I said, I mean, it's tough though, guys, because we can coach and train you and all of the stuff that we do in the morning is really to work on you guys' as mental, to work on your personal development. And the more that you hear it over and over again, eventually, though, guys, uh, you know what I understand about some of you is that I, you, I might be your first exposure or lend us your first exposure to you guys really in network marketing the right way. Because once I met my mentor and then I watched him do it and he never did anything else and he didn't really allow me to do anything else he's like no we're not doing it that way <laughs> he didn't he wasn't like the manipulator or the one that linda was talking about that's like my way or the highway but he's like do what works i just had to talk to my partner about it last night like if you don't see the leaders doing it you may not want to do it so at some point tim when you decide to just do it is when your check is going to go to the next level there's not Anything that I could tell you guys or scripts that I can give you that's going to get you guys to hit legend, it's going to be when you just make the decision to just do it, to look at your list and say, let me call everybody I can. And the more I call, right, watch the um, Wolf of Wall Street, the phone version, the clean one, though. Yeah, the clean one. The clean one. Watch the clean one. But... He tells you when you guys like you, you got bills, pick up the phone and call somebody. You you sick and tired of, of you know not having enough? Pick up the phone. It's not gonna dial itself. And at some point you're gonna have to you won't care at some point what people say because you got so many people to call, you don't even care who says no. You're just trying to get through your list as fast as you possibly can. That was it right there, Megan. The reason what holds people back is they don't want to hear people say no, but you have to understand something. This was the breakthrough for me. I say no all the time. So what makes me so great people can't say no to me? Hi, okay. Megan. <laughs> I say no all the time. When somebody, say, when somebody calls me selling me something, I say no. They don't quit their job because I say no. A lot of people are holding themselves back because they don't want to hear no. It's okay. They're saying no for several reasons and it has nothing to do with you. So, right. And I'll even tell people in my presentation to the next person, you know, the last person told me no, and I couldn't believe it because they, they live in paycheck to paycheck. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you about it. You know what I'm saying? Put that up front so they don't tell you no. Put the no up front, handle the objection before you even get started with the presentation. But don't I'm be afraid of saying no. Hi, Megan, or, Le or, or um, uh, Linda. Yes. I have a quick question. Yes, go right ahead. Um, the rank distribution required per leg. 
if leg one has 12, uh, um, 12 people and leg two has maybe only two or um, maybe three or four below uh, their three who only want to trade and not recruit, can I still rank up? Yes, yeah. you have to find somebody that's going to, um, you got to find power to put in that leg. Keep, keep sharing until you find some people that you can. My second leg just got power two weeks ago and I've been in here six months. Oh, it did. Uh, so in other words, if I have 12 people in leg one and, and nobody ranking in, and nobody coming in in leg two or three um, you need because to they're trading, right. would I still be able to get a check off of leg one? No. no. So you have to have, the numbers have to be four. You guys got to know these numbers by heart. If you want to hit night, you have to have it. It doesn't matter if these people want to just trade or if they want to build. You might have a whole leg of people who are just paying their subscriptions happily every single month, which is great. So you need to look at the comp plan. Hold on one second. And you have to understand that it's four in leg one, four in leg two, two in leg three. So as soon as you, you have 12 in leg one, this leg is already the noble. It's got a check mark on it. So you got one leg already at a thousand a month. Now what you need to do is go over and get to work in your leg two and three. You need to put a person here and here and then start building straight down in that leg. And when this leg gets to four and this leg gets to two, then you'll be at that rank. So four, four, two, you could have, my dad has 3,000 people in his leg one. 3,000. I know, Linda, it's crazy, huh? 3,000. Doesn't mean that he, he's not getting a check because I, my dad's not going to build and I don't have time. I didn't have time in the beginning to be building for somebody else. So my dad has 3,000 people on this leg and I told him, I'll just give you money because I'm over here in my third leg. I'm not in my leg one right now putting people in there. So he's got 3,000 people on his leg one. He's not getting a check. He has nobody in his leg two and three. Now I'll go back over there now that I'm where I'm supposed to be and I can like help him so that he can start ranking up. So does that make sense? You have to have four. Yeah, four so so if, if, if in leg oh, three, sure. continues to put people in on leg one, and in, leg, and in in his third leg, he continues to put people on leg one. He'll start getting a check. Okay. You have to have, I'm kind of confused about how you're saying that. How many people do you have in leg, leg one? My leg one has about 14 people. Okay. So that leg is already at noble. It, so you don't want to put anybody in there right now. How many people do you have in your leg two? No, but no one. How many do you have in your leg three? No. I just got um, that one. I started really at, on Thursday. Okay. Last. How many people have you personally sponsored? Um, one. So you need to, you're not going to get a check until you've at least personally like three three. sponsored three anyway. You have to have three in order to even be considered an IBO. So now what you need to do is you need to build in your like two and three. You need to put a person here. You need to put your next person here. You need to put a person here. You're like one and two are your bigger legs always they don't flip flop four four two is night you could have a thousand four and two and you're going to be at night this leg is just a kind of a runaway leg which is great you need 10 10 5 30 30 15 100 150 when your legs get to that point it's going to um you're going to get a check mark in that leg like boom this one's done for this rank so what you need to be doing is you need to launch your business and you need to put people in your like two and three and then i'll do um leg one um and leg two um, if i if you bring in more people i put them on the leg one and bring them up and talk. You, bring, you put them in like two and three okay in. Uh, two and three yes you put them in like two and three and you build straight down right don't build if you put Sarah right here, don't put your next people in Sarah's legs one, two, and three, because what if Sarah quits the business? Now you got these people orphaned. We build straight down. It's called tap rooting. So when you put a person in, let's say that you started putting people in and then you got to start looking at your numbers. And then when you do start putting your people in, build them straight down underneath each other because 
now they're all touching each other and their leg one is going to start to blow out. So it's going to force them to go chase you, right? Okay. It's going to force them to chase you. And now they need to start building in their leg two and three. Like whoever signed you up, somebody did a really great thing. It's what I do. This is what my team's legs look like. I got some people with 189 people in their leg one and they're still getting ready to get ready to get ready to get ready to get ready. But I'm like, I'm just going to keep on building. They'll wake up or not. Right? Because you have at least one person in their leg, you are going to be able to still collect a check because of these other, um, other nope. legs that you have one in. You don't have to have one in their leg. You just, if this is you right here. Yeah. We don't have a leg qualification for personals. I need you to read the comp plan too, because I don't think you've read it. <laughs> you sent me a message. You didn't read the comp plan on the website, did you? No. You guys, listen, this is a business. The reason why you guys are confused and I'm not is because I read the website five times. That's the only way that I know how to make these pretty PowerPoints because I read the comp plan when I came into this business. So I need you guys, if you are confused about the comp plan or anything, you need to go to tradera.org under referral program and you need to read that thing over and over and over and over again. And then this stuff will make more sense to you. But you guys are trying to operate a, a vehicle without reading the manual. This is it also I has a, a five minute uh, video on the compensation plan. And I just, I just looked at it again yesterday myself. Yeah, I have a I have five minute video on the comp plan, but still you guys, it's your responsibility. If you're getting into this, treat it like a real business and read the comp plan on the website and okay. then ask questions if you don't get it. Cause that's what I did. I read the comp plan and there was one thing in there that I didn't quite understand the 55% rule. And so I, then I asked, but I, I read the comp plan first and then asked questions. I have a real quick one, Megan. Okay. Um, you know how you said- Hold on one okay. quick second, Stephanie. So did we get okay. the question answered, young lady? I apologize. Thank you. I, thank you very much, Megan. Read the comp plan, read, read. And I need you to watch my fast start training because one of the first things I tell people to do is read. <laughs> read the comp plan and then you're not going to be as confused and then watch my video and then you guys need to hit your numbers real quick here's a quiz for you guys if your numbers are write it down because you're not going to remember what i'm saying if your numbers are 75 25 and four what rank are you? If your numbers are 75, hold on, let me pull this up for you guys. Hold on, hold on. don't say it. <laughs> I'm not saying it. That's okay, you guys could say it, I'm just kidding. It's like, the, it's like the board races at school. Remember when we used to do those chalkboard races? That used to be my favorite. Um, let me try and pull up this comp plan. Oh, here we go. So look to, to the young lady asking questions. So if you are at 75, 25, and four, What, what rank are you, right? Um, I would be at um, Bishop. Bishop, no. Noble, and Founder. You can't be a Bishop because Bishop, you have to at least Knight. have 15 people in your third leg. Oh. I would be at Knight. You would right. be at Knight, right? Yeah. Because, yeah. because look, Knight, and then if you go to Noble, Noble needs at least Five. five people in their third leg you're still at noble but your first leg is already at bishop almost at duke your third leg or your second leg is at noble because you need 30 in your third leg in your second leg i'm sorry 25. so you know where you need to concentrate your efforts number one when people ask me where should i put this person i say where do you need them what are your numbers and then when they tell me, I'm like, well, you should know, put the person where you need to put them and then place them up under somebody who deserves your attention and start a fire like this up under them until it catches fire, right? I went from 1,000 people in my third leg to 1,444 in less than a month because I started a fire. This is the fire in my third leg. 
Did everybody wake up? Nope, but they're starting to, right? But I'm not going to chase these people. I just keep making them sick to their stomach because I'm like, you know, you got 40 people and you're like one, right? You know that you're, you're like one is already at, um, you know, you already have a leg at $2,000 a month and you're leaving money on the table, right? How about you get to work? <laughs> right? So understand the, the comp plan. Read it first and then you're going to understand it and watch the video. Stephanie, did that help you? Yeah, it did. And I'm understanding more and more. But my question is, like, um, like you said, for your dad, he had so many people on his first leg. So are you able to, like, take some of those people to fill in your leg two and three or no? <laughs> Never. You can't move your downline around. That Those people are belong to somebody. So, no, you can't do that. Once you're, like, I, I have almost 13,000 people. It's where Linda is. It's where Dr. PK is. All the leaders that you guys hear all the time. Most of them okay. are second leg, like 13,000 of them. It's worth Okay, and I knew it was kind of like a crazy quiz, but I just had to get it out just for my own curiosity. Yeah, so no. I understand now. <laughs> no, I think Linda would be pretty upset if I took part of Linda's downline and shifted it over into a leg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I promise I'm getting But look, I, w I won't be mad if you put you some guys. in my third leg, though. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, listen to this. Everybody that I talk to, they're always like, my third leg, right? And because people think, well, I don't need leaders in my third leg. Yes, right. you need yeah. leaders in every leg because you got to run all your legs to China, right? That's why when I looked at this comp plan, I'm like, 5,000 people, was that it? That's like nine duplications. I'm on it. But that's not how people look at it. You guys are looking at it like, I didn't only need three people. You know how I looked at it? I need 5,000 people. If I got to sign them all up myself, I will. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different perspective. The reason why I signed up hundreds of people personally, I did give some people away because it's no point in me to have 100 personals but I didn't give my people away to anybody who needed them. <laughs> I didn't give them to needers. I gave them the leaders. <laughs> the difference, right? So I want to, I want, oh, Jacob Mickle, are you on here? Yes, I, I am. Him. My favorite, I, I love him. If I have favorites, he's one of them. Next I don't time. miss. Hey, Megan. <laughs> Jacob, okay, Jacob. So what are, Jacob's really about to hit legend, but he's about to hit empress. I was Jacob's. Um, I dated Jacob's closest friend. That's how I kind of learned and I'm sitting in, you guys heard the story, sitting in the corner taking notes while Jacob is up there talking. <laughs> and I was in his downline and then now in this company, now he's in, in my downline and he's phenomenal, but he forces his team to do the PS3. Like don't even think about putting somebody on the phone with Jacob if they haven't watched the video. <laughs> <laughs> I, happen, but I tell people Jacob a guy was like can I get Jacob's number I was like he's amazing if you want to do three ways make sure your people watch the video first absolutely <laughs> absolutely wow Megan I love Wednesdays man and um I'm sitting over here and um you know I mean you do I mean you really do a phenomenal job but when you have Miss Linda Rogers Brown on this call oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> Linda Rogers Brown, you are an amazing lady. I'm telling you, you your knowledge, the way you explain, the way you train, it just come across just so smooth. I mean, you can be cutting somebody up. They don't even know they're bleeding until they look down, right? You're so good. <laughs> don't and, tell my secret now. <laughs> I know, right? But I'm just, I mean, seriously, I just love, I mean, I love to hear you train. You do, I mean, really you do an, an amazing job. But you hit something this morning that, um, that I um, w was going through some notes last night, and you talked about trust, okay? This business is built off of trust, okay? I mean, tr I mean truly trust, because people coming in, new people, they trust you. They're going to trust you, especially, let's take somebody like a Megan. They can make $100,000 a month on the way to $200,000 a month. They want to trust every word that Megan says that she's going to do for them. It don't matter what Megan say, but whatever she says is golden. Why? Because she's at $100,000 and they can see themselves at 100000 
and they have not made a dollar yet. Why? Because they're touching and they're feeling and they're seeing somebody at that hundred thousand. Because a lot of times in a lot of companies you go to, yes, they make, you know, they make that kind of money, but you never get to meet them or get to see them as much, right? You know, they live in Wyoming or Idaho or something, you know, and you only see them in a magazine, right? I hope nobody on this line lived in Wyoming or Idaho, <laughs> right? <laughs> but I was reading, Linda, and you said something. I said, wait a minute. I was just reading this last night about this, the seven magical words of network marketing. And the seven words are, you know, I will help you build your business. Everybody basically say that to everybody what that they recruit, right? Those are the seven magical words of, 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 of network marketing. I will help you build your business. But here's the, here's the power in those words. The power in those words, I will help, is the leader responsibility. You build your business, you build your business <laughs> is your responsibility. No one is going to build your business for you, ladies and gentlemen, but we will help, a leader will help you build your business. So write those words down and, and, and put two lines under you. I will help you build your business, but also the lines go, you build your business. So you can use that you twice. So it's like eight words. The first, <laughs> the first four is I will help you. And then the other four is you build your business, right? So that's what I was looking over there. Ms. Linda Rogers Brown was talking about that, ladies and gentlemen. I was like, wow, she's killing it. But I was just looking at this and she started talking about trusting and getting people give you 10% of their time and not 100%. If you can get 10% out of everybody, ladies and gentlemen, you will be wealthy. You will be wealthy. See, because guys, you got to think about this. Our job is to, to be a leader, not to be a nanny. Mm. We don't need to babysit you guys, or nobody, period. And that's why when Megan said that I'm the master and the king of, of three ways, I mean of the PS3, because I don't talk to nobody. Uh-oh, unmute Jacob. We lost you. Hold on one second. Jacob, come back. We can't hear you. <laughs> uh, did it kick him off? His phone might have died. Mm -hmm. Oh, it did sound like a, a, a dead phone. Yeah, but he doesn't, though, guys. But Jacob has got two legs at Legend, one leg almost to Empress, and he just got over here. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, there you are. <laughs> oh, I was gone. I was still talking. <laughs> that was the best speech we never heard. <laughs> oh, my God. oh my gosh, I said some good stuff. Y'all really missed it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you know, when you left off, Jacob, when you said, I don't let PS3, Master of PS3, I don't let nobody go ahead, finish. I let no one, I mean, if you call me, the first thing I was say, well, well, first of all, Linda, thank you for putting me on the phone with Megan. Megan, I appreciate everything. But Megan, tell me, first of all, Megan, did you watch the video? You're going to say, yes, great. Tell me what you like best about the video. I'll go through all that. But well, Megan say, no, I haven't watched the video. I'm saying, Linda, <laughs> Megan has not watched the video? Exactly. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Megan, tell you what. Take, take the next uh, nine minutes and 48 seconds. The first four minutes of that video, she's going to talk to you about trading. The last four minutes and 48 seconds, She's going to talk to you about the opportunity side of it. That's the side that I took advantage of. I want you to look at both sides to see which one fits you best. But I want Linda to put you back on the phone within 10 minutes. 10 minutes after she, after you watch that Megan video. That's the deal, Megan. Yes. yes Linda, go ahead on and send her that video right now. But I'll be expecting Linda to give me a call back. In, in, really, I would say Ms. Rogers. To give me a call back within 10 minutes. All right? I'll be waiting on you guys' call. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I will not go into anything. Why? Because I'm set myself up to do a presentation, not right. a phone call. That's right. Because right. she don't know what the heck I'm getting ready to talk about. Exactly. So yes, that's why I go through that. And my, believe it or not, this is being duplicated in my organization all around the country and the world. Because I 
started from day one by doing that from day one and it's duplicating over and over and over you can't put them on the phone with the milk if you hadn't watched the video that's what everybody said and so, hey guys when jacob's when jacob came over with the his group of leaders i mean i'm telling you guys i was i did not sleep for like four or five days i'm not even kidding i would be backed up 20 and i did a three-way call challenge so i would literally be backed up uh 23 way calls where people were calling but we had everybody on deck like hey i can't do it right now call jacob call this person call this person and all we did for our first 30 days in this business jacob you remember i'm sure you remember but all we did was three-way calls and shared my nine minute video if you guys look at my nine minute video that i have the old one it was shared almost really almost 300,000 times because I had two videos that people were sharing. That's all my team did in the very beginning is we did three ways and we shared the video and we, then we invited them to a presentation to close them, you know, to like further close out the people who still had to think about it. Yes. And 99, 98% of the people that I first enrolled in this company all came through the video. By the time they made it to the webinar, you know, the, the, the schedule that we had, um, schedule changed a little bit now, but the schedule that we had, cause we had calls going from two o'clock all the way up to 10 o'clock at night, almost every hour on the hour. By the time anybody made it to the webinar, they were already in my business. Because the webinar, I'm telling you right now, the webinar probably only closed two of my people, the video and the three-way phone call, I mean, 98% closed the rest of them. Right. And someone just asked, and we don't really have time to train on that right this second, but someone asked, what is a three-way call? You need to go to Google or YouTube, and I want you to Google it for right now, because I do trainings on it, on how to do a three-way call, but you, that's the basic structure of a network marketing business is that I'm going to get Jacob on the phone with a leader or somebody else who could validate that our opportunity is great. You need to, I want you to go to YouTube though. And I want you to spend all day today watching as many tutorials on you on how to do calls and network marketing. And then I also have a video as well. Um, you can watch that video as well. But. And, and Megan, another thing, if you if your teammates are working, they have a job, get the training to them. Get, she records these every day. If you, all right, if you can't train, at least get a copy of the training and the playbook in the hands of the people you bring in this business so they can have a good chance of succeeding. You know, I have people calling me all night and I just went through the list and I know they're not at work and they're not on the training. Um, so that's a problem because then they call you asking you questions if they could have gotten answered through the training. So really put these tools in their hands so it helps you out. So we're not gonna train on the three-way today because i got a lot of videos and go to youtube and just guys when you hear people say things with the trading side of things or with the building um just google it right go to youtube and just become a student of network marketing if you don't know who the top network marketers are google them because if you want to be good it's almost like you guys you know i could ask you guys um okay, go do a layup and most of you guys know what a layup looks like because you've seen seen it. My daughter is a national volleyball player. She's 13, getting ready to play on the 16s team. She's very good. She's very tall. Uh, but volleyball doesn't come on all the time, like basketball. So she, she didn't know what it looked like. If I told you guys I need you to hit a, a quick ball, a one, swing around and hit a, hit a six, and then I want you to block and then hit an eight, you're not even gonna know what I'm talking about. And neither would she. So my daughter watches volleyball on YouTube every day because I'm like, you cannot be a good volleyball player if you don't watch it. You don't even know what it looks like. I'm gonna say the same thing to you guys. You cannot be a great uh, marketer in network marketing. You can't be great at this if you don't know what it looks like. You don't know the terminology. So this training is to get you guys thinking, but then you have, you got homework to do. Go get off this call and number one, just get to work, right? Make your list, call some people and be excited. Call your top people first and say, hey, listen, you got two minutes. 
let me put you on the phone with a leader and then call somebody and edify them. If you don't know what that means, that's your homework today. Go to YouTube and watch as many videos on how to do three-way calls as you possibly can so you can get good at this industry. But a lot of people come in and they halfway try, they don't learn it, and then they say network marketing doesn't work. <laughs> it always works if you work it, right? You just gotta <laughs> learn it. And I sit in the, sat in the corner while Jacob was speaking for a darn near probably a year and took notes. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, but why do you think, you know, Megan, you just hit on something that was powerful. Why do you think Linda Rogers Brown been around for 30 some years doing this? I mean, she been around because you know why she been, she been taught by great trainers. See guys, there will be other things that will keep you in this industry and keep you engaged other than the products at Tradera and other than the company Tradera. It's culture and good leadership will keep you around longer than the money. Love it. And hey, we Megan. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Lisa. Go ahead, Lewis. Real quick. And uh, then yeah, real, definitely, head. definitely real quick. I just want to send, uh, send my love and appreciation because, I mean, this has definitely been changing my life. I'm um, coming from the right circle by way of Tsunami, you know, Oscar and all I them, JJ, Rick. So uh, I'm shaking hands and bumping arms with these people like every day. So um, it's really been changing my life. And I was at a point where I was stuck and I didn't think I would be because I come from a sports background too. And my first, I guess, uh, brain, I guess is more so on creative level. I do music and things like that. So I'm creating content and things like that for my team. But I had to go back and feel better and feel good on the inside. Right. And so me, like knowing all the things that I've known, so early in my life, I had to stick, take a step back and really humble myself because I wasn't taking as much action and I just felt stagnant. You know what I'm saying? Then like Linda went on to talk about those four colors and I was like, wow, I probably should have been up a little bit more in class about this because I'm a psych major. And we talk about that. We talked about those things and like, I'm definitely going to use that to, you know, like really mold my, my approach on people and things like that. Cause I, I've been around people forever talking about whatever they might need or who I am. Like I, all I know to do, uh, how to do is to talk to people. But I can say this is definitely about to sharpen like my iron and things like that. So I never thought network marketing would have been my savior in a sense. So I mean, I'm just, I'm just sending that in. I know y'all been, we've been on this call for like 62 hours. I just wanted to you know, <laughs> send my love and respect then cause it's been really real. Like, I feel like, I, you know, like my homie told me, he said, um, network marketing is truly like the becoming of who you're supposed to be. And so I feel like I've been kind of reborn in a couple of different ways. And I, you know, just tapping into these calls every single day. You know, one thing about Mel Robbins, um, they put like that motivational video in before our 9 a.m. call with Nano. Um, and one thing Mel Robbins said was you got to be looking you got to look forward to a no sometimes and that'll help push you through the process because we expect like a lot of perfection and things like that. So anybody that's on this call, you know, um, nervous or scared or doesn't really know, it's like I could share kind of my pain with that. Not like my life has been like a movie in the past two weeks from like me totaling my car, getting sick. Like I got like, you know, crazy immune system. I never get sick, you know. Snake came in my room the other day. Like my life has been crazy. Oh my god! It's been, it's been a. I could go on and I could write a book about my life, but I don't want to get that deep into it. I just know that with ET Hip Hop, the hip hop preacher actually met him too at Lenox Mall down here in Atlanta. Um, real good dude, same person on and off camera. Basically, like he said, I actually used him as a sample, like in my one of my first major projects. Um, and one thing he was saying, like you gotta want it as bad as you want to breathe. And he talks about the story. Taking out the kid, talk, talk, taking the kid out to the beach, and you know, putting him in that deep water. He's like, I want to come out here and make money. You know, ET, what are we doing out here? I want to make money. He said, I'm gonna keep walking, keep walking, and he gets up to his neck. He's like, Hey, I'm about to drown. He says, Hey, you gotta want this as bad as you want to breathe. And so I just always remember things like that from like the earliest times of my life. So I think sometimes you just 
you got to go back in and reflect and redraw up your blueprint. Like it's never, it's never too late. I tell my mom the same thing. Like you only, you, you can only go as far as you want to, you know, feel, you know, you got to, it got to feel good from the inside out and your energy comes from the inside so you can vibrate and connect all, all the right pieces. Like it's, it's truly never too late. And I think I'm getting, getting unstuck because as much as I know, I know nothing at all at the same time. If I'm not pressing the action button as, as hard as I should press it. So, I mean, I'm thankful for all y'all. More than y'all ever realized, and it's time to be leaders. It's time to, you know, look for 2021. This is like fourth quarter. So never give up, keep reaching, keep fighting, keep learning. Um, you know, and just one thing I learned too, just no matter how hard or crazy it gets, send a lot of love and just be thankful. Send a lot of gratitude you know, certain doors is going to open up for you. So whether you're a baby boomer or you're a baby, like, <laughs> go in and, you know, look for the life that you want to. That's all I got to say. Thank you. Hey, so much, hey, Lewis. hey Megan. I appreciate uh, you um, sharing that, Lewis, definitely. E.T. is oh, a yeah. powerful guy. Actually, E.T. gave me my first $1,000 to start my business. He, he's a mean cook, too. I, I got to go to his house and... Um, he is one of the most amazing people. So that's another person you guys can study, Eric Thomas, the hip hop. Person. Absolutely. Jump on there. Hey, Megan. Go ahead, Gino. Megan. Thank you, Lewis. I, 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 always. Love, love. Peace. I know we got to end the call, Megan, and, uh, but I, I, this is Gino. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I don't know how uh, Mr. Mickle, Mr. Jacob Mickle, he's been a, a 20 plus mentor of mine. He, he's a, a brother, a friend. I don't know how we always end up on the same calls, not even communicating. But when you start to get in sync with leadership, it's very important. Uh, uh, there's a lot of leaders you can learn from. There's a lot of leadership uh, that's really good leadership. But one thing you'll never, ever find, I, I really highly doubt it, in your entire life, is the network and system of leadership that we have here at Tradera. I've never seen this before in, in 20 plus years. It's the system of leadership to develop other leaders and definitely take advantage. This is one of the best calls I've ever, ever been a part of and heard. Um, sincerely, this has been a really good call and I've heard some phenomenal things. I, I mean, I talk to Jacob all the time. So I'm able to hear things that other people don't hear. So if you are hearing my voice, think of you can go anywhere you want to and you'll get good leadership and you might make some money, but you'll never be in a system because systems are important and a network of leadership that you have right here, right now, take advantage of it and, and, and believe bigger, faster, and think bigger, faster, and put your fear and nervousness behind you and let it fuel you to. Uh oh, Gino, you got muted. Thing you do in the platform and you designed it's it's been one of the 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 best bar none uh, i think is the number one in the in the business so thank you for allowing me to share my piece you're welcome you're right i've never heard it said like that but you know we this is a personal development program and we make some money <laughs> but mm -hmm. uh, i really wanted this rip and jacob knows this because i was able to partner with jacob who's made a lot a lot of money in network marketing and because my partner had made millions of dollars in the industry and it was such a high level being in a lot of different companies i got tired of being in just companies and you know i talked to my uh partner about it i talked to jacob about it i was like if i get into another company and i have the ability i want to create a company where everybody's together you know and the great thing is is that dominique we're all under dominique in this business so and we're all friends so dominique is above us i'm on dominique's leg one it doesn't matter that uh selena jackson is my girl she's at fifty thousand a month so i'm like two guy coats and that whole crew is on like dominique's like three we're all friends lewis that just spoke he's in my leg two underneath you know with with jacob and them but 
we don't really care. It's right now we're building the culture of what we want this company to look like. And it's a system of leaders. You're right, Gino. So thank you for saying that. Um, and we just stay together, right? Companies are always destroyed from the inside out. Linda, I do want to throw this out here before we hop off. Um, it's very, very important that you stay positive in your team. There was something that you were saying and, and people don't even know the, the craziness that we went through. I think our worst days are behind us because we went through a lot. Indeed. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh my goodness. Woo. Like if anything could have happened in the very beginning when we got over here in March, it happened. All yeah. of it mm -hmm. happened all at once. And the great thing is though, you guys can go back and listen to some of our trainings and we never focused on the negative. We still were like, you know what? Yeah, we're going through some things, but it's <laughs> what you do. You go through it, right? If you're going through hell, don't be checking in at motel hell in your life. You better drive on through that stuff, <laughs> right? And come out on the other side of it. So we're super excited. Now we're, we got this flow. <laughs> we got this flow going and we haven't even gotten started yet. We're so good though. <laughs> So I'm just excited about it. I know I got to get off here because I got 50, you guys too, too. You have 50 minutes to not, please don't get off this call and let all this good knowledge go to waste, right? right. Knowledge yeah. is not power. Applied knowledge is power. That's wisdom. Right. Wisdom is your ability to apply stuff immediately. Not when you feel like it, not when you get around to it. It's you get off this call and call somebody that you're not afraid of <laughs> first. Call the person where you don't really care if they say yes or no or whatever. Just call them and say, listen, I just got off the best training, partnered with a group of leaders. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you get on this call? I think you, you really need to listen to it. You free uh, in about 50 minutes? Okay, can you get on this call? Invite them, that's it. And if they say, no, nah, I'm, I'm busy. Can you get on at um, nine? No, what about four? No, how about seven? <laughs> Put somebody on the call, guys, and then start fresh with them and start building from, it's not power of three, it's power of one. Take one person and launch them, launch them, launch them correctly. Be excited, be in a hurry. Hey, kind of in a hurry was- uh, Excuse you know, me, Megan, Megan, I, I just wanna, I wanna see if you guys can recognize this voice. Somebody came to my house. Who is it? Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Adrian Sloan. Sloan is Sloan. It's about to go down. We're going to do some blitzing. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, hey, Dynamite Sloan, how's it going? What's up, big time? How you doing? <laughs> doing well. Hey, your training yesterday was off the hook. It really, like, lit a fire underneath me, that, that morning level. <laughs> You have a way of just like, <laughs> you know what I loved when you, you were saying the other day about uh, trophies, like, yeah, we all got trophies, right? We looking at our old trophies. What are you doing in, in Tradera? <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. And we could talk about that all day. That's old news. That's just for your ego, but that ain't helping your check right now. <laughs> I told y'all to get an accountability partner. <laughs> oh my God, to get on Adrian Sloan's calls at four and seven. I get on there just so... He gives me my Harriet Tubman back. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm fine. So you can't call nobody? <laughs> What's up, big brother? <laughs> man. I appreciate it, man. I want to hop out of your training, man. I'm about to lock in, man. I'm about to open up my own market, man. We about to blitz our markets, man. So we are we ready to get rocking, man. We about to go to the next level. So great morning, everybody. Man, let's, let's make it happen. Oh, I love it. On that note, I have to leave you guys. I got a blitz. All right. <laughs> my pleasure. Get to work. All right. All right. So, guys, thank you for staying on for hours. This is the kind of training we'd go to conventions to pay for. Like, we'd have yeah. our recorders out, listening to the leaders, like, just trying to catch some nuggets. This is how I feel like I become who I am, listening to the leaders. So, thank you guys so much for staying. Now, get to work. <laughs> I love Amazing. it. No problem. It Thank you, guys. Make it happen. You're welcome. Let's go, guys. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Megan. Bye, Bye. Bye, Bye, Megan. Bye, Bye, Megan. Bye, Bye. Bye. Megan. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, everybody. Great call. Bye. Bye. Be blessed. Thanks, everybody. Let's go. Let's go.
Let's go. Thank you. Great call. I really got some important yeah. information. Awesome. Awesome. Linda Brown, you should have been a baseball player because you knocked it out of the park again. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> let's go. I love Dynamite. it. Jacob, <laughs> let's go, y'all. <laughs> I love Daryl. He gets me fired Woo! up. Oh, that's Daryl Meek. Hey, let's go. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. <laughs> What's up, man? Let's go, What's y'all. Up? We got to get the butter from the dust. Get the butter from the dust, baby. Oh, my God. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Is that Daryl? Hey, it is Daryl. Hey, let's hey, get hey, the butter from the dust, y'all. Let's go. They don't know we can. We got to go. Let's go, baby. Keep digging. Keep digging, baby. That's Woo! Oh, Daryl, Daryl, you need to get excited. <laughs> Man, let's no, go, baby. Too. Y'all know how we do it. Young folks, y'all better run. Y'all, boy, y'all got the ball. Let's run, young folks. Oscar the Great. <laughs> Woo! Hey, 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 Megan. Let's go, y'all. Me- Megan, can I say something? This is red. Let me tell you something about Daryl. When I met Daryl down in Atlanta, he came to me, and I told him that um, I'm underneath Adrian Sloan, right? Daryl looked at me and he said, bro, I'm going to help you regardless. Whoever you with, I got your back 100%. And he kept his word ever since then. And I, I love Daryl. Like, Daryl, just he was the first one that – I didn't know nobody really outside of Adrian down in Atlanta. But Daryl came to me and he was like, bro, it's my business card. If you ever need anything, I'll help you 100%. That set the course of me with this company because of what Daryl did. I say this is family. Wow. Right here. That's real talk. Yes, yes, sir. If you know dynamite, baby, you my man. Woo! Let's go, y'all. Fine, let's go. Linda <laughs> Brown, I love you, girl. You just a bad. Woo! You bad, girl. Woo! Oh, you too. I'm, I'm ready. I'm just, baby. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, gosh. We'll be on here forever. Thank you, Dad. I know. Yeah, it's exciting. Bye, I'm y'all. Let's excited. go to work. Let's go to work. I'm gone. All right. See you later, guys. I just dropped uh, this information in the chat, but it's in the Telegram. <laughs> Make sure all of you guys are inside the Telegram. That's where you'll, you'll find all the call information every morning. I drop it in the Telegram and on our Facebook. All right, peace and blessings. See you guys later. See you in 50 minutes Thanks. with your guest. <laughs> Thanks, Megan. Talk to you guys later. Thanks, Megan. Thanks, Linda. See you guys later. Yeah. <laughs>